everyone saw it. My name is Akane. I'm in seventh grade. I live in the countryside and pretty much every direction you look in, you're surrounded by farmland. My family are all farmers and they have always grown various crops since as long as I can remember. I'm home! Ah, welcome home, Akane-chan. I made some pudding for you. Would you like to have some? Yeah! This woman was Yuri-san. She's my brother's wife and is a very lovely and kind woman. She also happens to be a great cook. However, there are no perfect people in the world, so... Oh yeah, Yuri-san. How was it back at the family farm today? Oh, it went pretty well today. Tokusakun was telling me that I was doing a little bit better. By the way, how are you doing with that tractor now, huh? Uh, well... Uh, I'm home, Mom! Well, welcome home! <sighs> when are you gonna improve, Yuri-san? Your tractor skills? S sorry Oh, come on, Mom. It's pretty tough to find someone that's just gonna be perfect at driving a tractor out of the blue like that, right? It's not out of the blue. It's already been a few months since Yuri-san has married into our family. I taught her perfectly well in the beginning, so I need her to be able to handle it. B but you only taught her in the beginning, right? What did you want me to do? I can't hold her hand forever. I've got stuff to do as well. Besides, driving that thing isn't that different from driving a regular car. Our tractor isn't too big, so you can drive it with a regular license. She literally went to driving school and had a license, so why wouldn't she be able to drive it? Think about the shape of the tractor, though. It's nothing like a regular car. But even then, there are limits to things. She literally drove head into our bales of hay. She was supposed to carry them. What? Again? Again, thanks to that, we had to restack all of the bales. So sorry, ma'am. I just wouldn't respond to how I wanted it to. You really are something else. I'm worried that you might come driving into me one day. You have no idea how terrified I am to let you get behind the wheel. You need to figure it out. As you can see, my mom and Yuri-san don't get along too well. Well, then how about you just don't let Yuri-san drive the tractor then? Don't be an idiot! She got married into the farmer's family, so she's gotta be able to at least run a tractor. Or what? Are you going to stay around and keep running the tractors instead of her? What? No, I don't want to be a freaking rice farmer for the rest of my life. You do realize that what you just said is really rude to dad and me, right? <laughs> That's alright. Farming isn't for everyone. People who want to do it, should do it. My brother went off into the city too. But honey... Why are you acting so irritated over something as small as the tractor? Yuri-san is a great wife. She helps out around the farm as much as she can. And her cooking is great. It's not good. I think at this rate, she's going to do something that we won't be able to recover from. Okay, so that's why we're saying to not let her drive the tractor then. You really aren't understanding me, are you? Stop making me repeat myself. You're making me repeat myself. <sighs> It's all my fault. It's okay. I'm sorry, too. You just take your time. Take as long as you need to learn, okay? Tokusakun. Yuri. They're reacting so differently, it's actually kind of interesting. As you can tell, a lot of people are on Yuri's side in this house. Maybe that's why Mom was extra prickly, because she felt like she was the only person that would be willing to chew out Yuri-san. However, no matter how much she practiced, Yuri-san's driving didn't improve and Azumi-san continued to chew Yuri-san out. Ah, I'm sorry! Then, something happened. Hmm? Ah, Yuri-san! Oh, Akane-chan! Are you working right now? I'm just taking a quick break. You're home earlier, though. What's going on? Yeah, I actually have exams starting tomorrow, so... It's nice that I don't have any club meets, but I've got to go home and study, you know? Ugh, lame. <laughs> I get it. I know I didn't like to study either. But I think that if you work hard, it'll definitely pay off for you later. What do you mean, pay off? Huh? Well, maybe you'll go to college and meet someone really nice, you know? <laughs> That's just the story of how you met my brother, Yuri-san. You two really are in love, huh? Oh, so sorry. Oh, it's totally fine. Uh, I wish I had a boyfriend too. I want someone who's better looking than my brother though. What? I don't think that there's anyone in the world that's better looking than Tokusakun. Yuri-san, we're going to get started again. Get on the tractor. Oh, sorry ma'am. Alright, Akane-chan. See you later. See you. Meeting someone nice, huh? But not in the middle of nowhere like this. There are already like no young people in this area. The neighbor kids also moved into the city already, so it's just been an empty house for a while now. 
I should just go to college and get myself a good man like Yuri-san said. Ah! No! And there she goes, crashing into a pile of hay again. Whatever, I'm gonna go home and study. Sorry, do you have a moment? Huh? What did you need? Holy! I actually just got a little lost. Are you from around here? Would you be willing to show me around for a little bit? S sure! Who is this great looking man? He is the most attractive man I've ever met in my life! Uh, um, my name is Akane. Uh, what's your name, sir? Me? My name is Hiragi. I go to university back in Tokyo, but I had to conduct some research out here for my school project. Right, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you think that. So, about showing me around. Uh, of course, I'd love to show you around. If things go well, I might be able to get closer to this great looking man. Thank you. Don't mention it. Hiraki-san and I started walking together. Apparently he's going around studying various Japanese folklore, so he came here to do some research. He was looking for a library for that, but he seemed to have gotten lost along the way. You're really helping me out. No matter how much I looked around, I only see farms, so I just can't figure out where anything actually is. Ah, uh, right. I mean, I guess coming from the city, maybe it's a little confusing around here, huh? But there really are almost no people around here, huh? Yeah, most of the younger crowd just leaves this town and goes into the city after they get older. A lot of the houses in my neighborhood have already been empty for a while now. Ah, speak of the devil! This is it! Huh, I see. But that's interesting. These blocks have quite the unusual pattern. Huh? Uh, really? Yeah. These are special blocks that have different designs based on the area that they're made in. Let's go around and check it out. Come with me, Akane-chan. Oh, wait. Should we be doing this? I know it's an empty house, but it's someone else's property! I guess I'll take some photos since we're here. Akane-chan, can you actually stand in the photos with them for me? I need something to reference for the size of the blocks. S sure Alright, can you just give me a peace sign and stand right over there? But peace There you go! Great! Alright, can you go ahead and take off your cardigan for me then? Huh? Is that a no? I mean, sure, that's fine. Ah, uh, middle school girls in uniform. I love it. Um, did I really need to take off my cardigan? Of course. You just be quiet and listen to what I tell you to, okay? Sh sure. I know he's a great looking man, but I think this is a little too embarrassing for me. All right. So for our next shot, can you pull up your skirt a little bit? Huh? Uh, uh, what are you talking about? Just do it. It's fine. No, not just do it. It's not fine. Ah, <sighs> fine. It's going to look much better if you just pulled up your skirt for me, but... Th hey, get away from me! I can't do that. I have to get closer to you, or I won't be able to take your skirt off. Now will I? No way! Sky is insane! So someone save me! Whoa there, you naughty girl! What are you going to do if someone hears us? I mean, from the looks of it, it looks like no one is around to hear you anyway. Ah, perfect timing. Now there's background noise to drown out any screams. Let's just finish up everything before this passes, huh? No! Alright, Akane-chan. Let's see what color panties you're wearing. Careful! Huh? and taken away by the police. I found out about this later, but apparently he's been going off into the countryside time and time again, pulling the same trick to other girls. This whole incident brought his crimes to light, so he ended up being arrested and charged for those crimes as well. As for us... What the 
hell were you thinking, Yuri-san? You're lucky that you ran into a wall that was just a little distance away from Akane. But if you were close, then Akane would have been seriously injured! Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. You're completely right. And that wasn't even our wall. That was someone else's wall. The property owner said that it was fine as long as we paid for the repairs. But you realize that they have the energy to sue us as well, right? <sighs> Mom, I think she understands. Yeah, it's not like she did that on purpose to hurt someone. You two, shut up! <clears throat> At the very least, we can't just let her keep going on like this. Yuri son's driving is seriously too dangerous for herself and everyone else around her. So I'm going to be personally teaching you one on one from the beginning. Huh? Y you do that for me? I know that you've been busy with work. It's not like I have a choice. I don't want you to end up a killer when you literally saved Akane when she was in a desperate need of help. Mm. Huh? Is this some kind of rain makes the roots grow stronger type of situation? <laughs> I guess it was kind of worth it that I followed Hiragi-san without suspecting his intentions at all now, huh? And you! You need to seriously think about what you've done! Ah! That's how Mom started really helping out Yuri-san with how to operate the tractor. Thanks to both of their hard work and effort, Yuri-san's driving skills have actually improved quite a bit recently. However... I'm so sorry, I didn't realize that I'd run into your own wall this time! Yuri-san! You were such a little... Oh, ma'am, I only chipped the edge of the wall a little bit. I didn't take out the whole side. You are the Lord of Destruction! It seems that she's got a long way to go. ご視聴いただきありがとうございましたどうしても人には得意不得意があるものですからねまあさすがに他の人に危害が加わりそうなのはどうにかしないといけませんが何にせよ知らない人にはイケメンだろうとついていってはダメですからねちょっと皆さん何ですかその顔は私はイケメンだったら誰にでもついていくような人間じゃないんですから話はそれてしまいましたが皆さんはどう感じましたかコメント欄に書いていただけると嬉しいですまた少しでもいい方向に向かってよかったと思った方チャンネル登録と高評価をお願いいたします。